Admiral presents Flight to Mars. As our play opens, we find Sky Explorer Roberts, commander of the United Nations rocket ship Skylark, and his chief pilot Edwards discussing the position of their ship, which has just landed on a strange planet. Listen. I'm sure this isn't our proper destination, Edwards. We didn't pass the asteroid belt. Where do you think we are, sir? Look at that sky, Edwards. Judging from the color of the atmosphere, my guess would be that we are on Mars. Mars? How can that be, sir? I set the course myself on the control deck. I don't know, but you better check central radar. Aye, aye, sir. Control branch X2X, central radar reporting. Go ahead, X2. Over. The telescanner shows we're three degrees off course set for our target. When did you last check it? No need to check it, gentlemen. We are on Mars, and I'm in command of this ship now. Drake, who changed our course in the control panel? Who do you think? You are under arrest for insubordination. Don't move, Roberts. This atomic disintegrator is all set. One false move by either of you, and I'll pull the trigger. You're a coward, Drake. Just because I didn't make you chief pilot instead of Edwards here, you're willing to do this. Just take a step, Roberts, and I'll show you if I'm a coward. Give me that disintegrator. You can't give me orders. I told you I'm in command of this ship. You can't get away with this, Drake. Oh, can I? I'll tell the Martians that I command the Earth and will turn it over to them as a colony, if they'll let me run it. You fool. There's nobody on Mars. Human life as we know it can't exist here. We'll see about that. I'm going to take that disintegrator away from you, even if it kills all of us. I warn you, Roberts. Another step and I'll let you have it. Better do as he says, sir. Now you're talking, Edwards. And let's start marching. We're going to find some Martians. In just a minute, we will return to our story, Flight to Mars. In celebration of Admiral's two millionth TV jubilee, here's the greatest offer in television history. A beautiful Admiral radio phonograph combination worth $90 will be given to you free. Yes, free of extra cost when you buy an Admiral TV console. Your choice of many cabinet styles, all with 17 or 20 inch rectangular dynaray tube for the clearest picture in television. And when you buy, you get this free. An Admiral triple play radio phonograph that plays all records regardless of size or speed. Here's complete home entertainment for the price of television alone. Now, back to our exciting adventure story, Flight to Mars. After being forced to trudge many miles across the Martian plains, Roberts is still trying to convince Drake of the folly of his plan. Drake, I've told you time and again, Martians don't exist. Shut up, Roberts. Move along, Edwards. I'm thirsty. Drake, you fool. You're getting us a long way from the water on the ship. I've got water. But you can't take off your helmet to drink it. Without that ray glass, you'd go up in blazes. That's my lookout. Get going. There's a Martian! Martian, I am commander of the planet Earth. I bring you friendship. These are my prisoners who would destroy you. He lies! What's the matter? Something's pushing me back. I can't see! Robert! Edwards! Help! Stop him! You're under arrest, Drake. I told you there were no such beings as Martians. This is Scout Anderson, commander of the United Nations Martian Garrison. He was placed here a year ago when I planted the UN flag on Mars. He had you covered with his ray gun all the time. Keep away, keep away, or I'll blow you to bits of this disintegrator. Oh no you won't. That type of disintegrator won't work on Mars. There's no oxygen in the air here. It's a sulfur atmosphere. You should have known that. Okay, you win. My scheme failed. Right. And you'll have plenty of time to think it over in the guardhouse. Come on, Edwards. Let's get back to the ship and take off for Earth. Thanks, Anderson, for your help. Drake's scheme failed to work. So did his disintegrator. 
But now, let me tell you about some things that never fail to work, and work hard for you. Admiral, manufacturer of the world's most powerful television receivers, and maker of table model radios. Admiral Portable Radios. Radio phonograph combinations. A complete line of conventional refrigerators. And a famous Admiral Dual Temp Refrigerator. Admiral Electric Ranges with Flexo Heat. A full line of television combinations. And the finest of them all, the famous three-foot theater. Admiral. <laughs>